about the rumors that saying that um, I'm broke, saying that I'm poor. It's not in no it's n- nobody business, and um, it's it's no one business. It's no one business. I would like to say it's no one business. If you guys, um, <clears throat> if we all is just sit around and worry about what I'm doing and want to dig up my past. You're going to be lost. You're going to be lost of words. But anyway, Lord, let's get back to Cordell Stewart. So, on Cordell, on, in Cordell, um, I um, was going to Atlanta. And, um, you know, I I took a trip to Atlanta plenty of times. Okay. We was in this bar, this restaurant. And, we, you know me, I like to talk. I like to have fun. I like to, I, I, I just like me. Okay, so we was in this restaurant, and I saw Cordell Stewart, okay, and, you know, I shop at Linus Mall in Atlanta, I shop around, I be around in Atlanta, okay, so, um, Cordell, I saw Cordell Stewart two times, okay, and everyone wants to know that how did me and Cordell date, okay, the truth is, we did, we didn't date, but I gave him oral sex, okay, and, um, that's when I was in sin, Okay, I gave him that. Okay, and um, I did not know. I, I knew he was on the Housewives of, of Atlanta, and my job was not to um, my job was not to embarrass him. My God is not and to slander him. Please let's make that clear. My job was because God had delivered me from homosexual. Okay, and I have text messages. I have proof of everything. Um, and a lot of people keep saying that um, we have never dated. Well, that's just like said I dated um, when I was in sin. Let's say if I dated some girl and I banged her, and I'm like, oh no, I can't see that. But you, you, you was not there, okay? You was not there, and um, no one was not there. So I asked, I asked the judge. I'm going to ask the judge. I'm going to plead. I'm going to appeal on this case. Um, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight for me, okay? I was, yes, Andrew, yes, I was wrong for um, going on the radio and doing that. And yes, I was wrong from letting people to use me. Yes, I was wrong to let Satan try to throw some doozies. But now I learned a lesson. I learned my lesson that even though you dated celebrities and you dated famous people, sometimes it's good to keep your mouth. It's good to keep your mouth shut. And I learned my lesson to keep your mouth shut. But hey, when people come for you, um, when people come, when people come, when people come for you, it's hard to, um, especially when you know I went viral. Especially when you know that I'm fighting. And how it start? Let me tell you guys how it started. First off, let me make this clear. How did I go on an interview and talk about Cordell? For one, Cordell came for me. He came for me, and I said, you know what? The next interview I'm going to do, I'm going to get him good. I'm going to get him good. And um, I hate I hate that because because of Portia um, is not involved. But Portia, off the housewife, let me give you guys some hints. For one, Candy said, oh, Cordell Stewart about the dildo. Okay? You know, Cordell Stewart um, had the dildo, um, and, um, and when they went past Portia, when Cordell Stewart packed Portia bags, and Cordell Stewart had the dildo, okay? But still, I'm not I'm not off track, but I'm giving you guys some tips, okay? And I was laying, I was in Atlanta, okay? I, he, he was leaving the bar, I was leaving the bar, and we started talking, and we went from there, okay? I don't need to lie about nothing. Let's take, we could take a lot or take a test. Okay, somebody that said, Lord Andrew Carwell, you just drag yourself in a e- even digger hole because you just kept your mouth shut. You're right, um... Um, Tony, I should just kept my mouth shut. And no, I did not just keep myself in the dirt. But we are done with this. But all I have to say is this. Um, I am filing, um, I will be filing legal action against all the blogs for making, sl- from slandering me from saying that I got served and that I got sued. I did not get sued. I was never served. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. I was never sued. LaToya, girl, you do not want to one talk about that station, but you are airing it out to everybody. Yes, I'm airing it out to everyone because right now, this is a very, today you get your green, you get your green tea. You see my green clothes? Today you get the green tea. You drink it up and then you leave it alone. You don't get come back and get no more of the tea because the tea is no more on the market. Drink the tea. You're drinking the tea. And we're going to shut up. Okay. And 
and um, I was in Atlanta. I went, okay, this person named John had took me to Atlanta. We had went to Atlanta, okay, and we started shopping. I started shopping and stuff like that, and I was like, come on, come on, that's Cardell, because we was in a bar. That was Cardell, Cardell, and we started talking and stuff like that, and then I got his number, okay? I got his number, and we went from there, okay? And we both was horny, okay, and we went from there. All I have to say then, after that, a um, couple months later, a couple months later now, he came for me. I had just got delivered, went, went to, um, got, just got delivered, I went to church and got delivered from homosexual, I, I did not get, I did not get delivered from lying, but when God took me from homosexual, he began to work on me in different, um, different ways, and I'm saying this because, I'm saying this because Cordell's outdoor interviews and saying that is not true, of course you're going to protect yourself and you're going to protect your character, but act like your character before you try and go to protect your character, because I know that, um, I know other celebrities might try to help you to act when you went to them shows and you act like you was an actress and you act like you was oh I never done that now now I'm speaking up for myself you went out and lied on me you well you never met you didn't mention my name when you went on them shows but you're saying that you're a heterosexual and you're a homosexual there's a difference okay I'm a heterosexual you're a homosexual so that's totally different and I'm not on here to comfort no one I'm not on here to slander no one, but I'm saying the deal is done. I said it. I'm coming here to backtrack what I said. So to Hot 104.1, make sure you get your facts straight. Yes, I went on the radio station, and and they did not. A lot of people did not want me to um, do that interview, and I was nervous, and I done that interview anyway, and I forget. I forgot that I done that. So now I'm on here to not backtrack myself, but I'm on here to get some stuff straight, get this record straight, and I'm done talking about it forever. I'm, it's a done deal. So, as I said again, I'm not lying. If you guys think I'm lying, good. So, you don't need to be watching here. Click the next button and go and watch Wendy Williams. But anyway, um, I have to say this. That I regret for what I have done. And I'm on here to, I'm on here to say that we, if, if, if I um, had offended anyone during that time, because yes, I did talk about the drag queens, I did talk about the homosexuals, because I was hiding, I was hurting and hiding, because I know that things been happening towards me, and 